hello coders in about today's 10 minutes coding we are going to create a backend server using node.js and also we are going to connect the mongodb database within it and to start with i took an empty folder and here i'm going to open my terminal and also you can directly open the bs code here it's up to your choice now in that folder i'm going to put npm in it to initialize the npm and now it's going to give a different prompt so i will go all with the default value just you need to keep up uh, remember about that entry point which gonna just i'm taking the default index.js so that file we need to create later on so everything is right we created that now i'm gonna open that inside my code editor now here in the various code you see that's all the things is coming on the prompt so now first thing first we need to create a file called index.js now here we're gonna make that uh, console.log and it will be hello from server and to run that code to see that code in the command line what you need to do you will just need to that node and it will be index.js as you see our application is running but after running it just stopped but what do you want actually to keep our application running right and to do that there is one of the best option let's go to the npm we need to install nodemon in our application and now we need to install that so what i'm gonna do i will open my another terminal and here in the terminal i'm gonna install that so npm i nodemon and after installing it gonna appear here on the dependencies you see in the dependencies nodemon is installed so now i need to go back to the package.json and here i need to create a file which are gonna be oops which gonna be need to make that start way so the npm can access that and it will be nodemon and the file name it will be index.js so now if i actually run that one with that npm start you're gonna see it's running and now if i change anything make a separate console you see it's giving me the prompt not whipping up so now our application is good to go so that's the first thing is done so now we need to connect the expect express js over here to create the routing let's go to the installation and what we need to do with this all we did all of those things so now we need to install that expect in our application this install and also just go back with the hello world example i will just copy all over the code from here and i'm gonna paste it here so now and the port i'm gonna give 800 port and also you're gonna make that server is oops it will be running on port 8000 so now if we see back you see the server is running on port 8000 and also if we go with the localhost 8000 you're gonna just simply see our application is coming and that word is coming from here hello world so if we just change that hello from the server and if you just come here and hit enter again you see that message is appearing on the server side so now this thing also done so what we need to do we need to connect the mongodb within our application and to connect first thing first again we need to create an application with the mongodb so let's sign in inside the mongodb and you need to have patience because mongodb gonna be a little bit slower but it will work just fine so now we'll just log in with the google and let's just wait a while and i'm gonna choose my account to create my login credential so now i need to accept and also after accept i need to submit that okay let's submit basically the mongodb will be a little slower but you need to have patience we are getting a lot of things free from the mongodb so it just uh, get a couple of minutes to do that and here is the thing i need to select my goal so just learn mongodb and also new to mongodb put as the way you want and the javascript node.js will be our application and just make category inventory or others or any other sure whatever you want to put optional is okay keep it empty and now not sure none just finish it that's the mandatory and some are optional field it depends on how you want to keep the way to things be done as you see now actually the point is we are going to go with the free trial and what is the free i will just go with that all the things which is coming up for the default okay let's go to select and make this to be happened 
okay now we need to create the username and password so i will create the username is password it will be test user and the password i'll just gonna make that test user of course i'm gonna delete that user and other data set later on so don't copy and paste that one it will not work so now without giving my ip what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a global ip and that ip is that's the code to create that ip so at the entry and i'm gonna revoke my actual ip from here i'll just go with the global ip so i can access that ip from anywhere in the world now i can go and connect from here but i'll go with my database now in the database i can just click on the connect so here i will go with the drivers and that's the code i require to connect with my application so i will copy it and now here in our application what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a dot env file and here i'm gonna put that uh mongo uri and i'm gonna keep inside with that and also i'm gonna mention our port which gonna be port and that will be 8000 we will keep that in the in dot env file and to access the dot env file data we need to create another package so it will be dot env okay let's search for it that's the dot env so we need to install that one first so let's install and after installing we need to go through just to just need to copy one line of code that's the one we need to get that and in our index.js we will just get that one so instead of that port what we are gonna do here it will be process.env dot oops it will be port and also it's gonna be the same for here and you're gonna see nothing is changed everything is working fine so now to connect with the mongodb we need to install the mongoose also and to install mongoose let's go mongoose website let's read the docs and so many other things you can find everything here so i'll go with the quick start i need to install the mongoose in my application so let's go and install and after installing what i need to do i need to get the mongoose by requiring the mongoose here as you see so now i need to create a connection with the mongo okay and that one i can export also so it will be mongo connect and as is a database i need to create a function which gonna be a sync and await so that database can work so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep a try catch block so in the try catch block in the log i'm gonna put that error if there is any error and in the try block what i'm gonna do const connect i'm gonna just put inside a variable with that and i'm gonna await so it will be mo oops it will be mongoose mongoose dot connect and remember we keep that process.env and the uri we give it here is the mongo uri so we need to paste that uri here so now we're gonna have a connection with the mongodb and after connection having the connection we will put that in the console log that oops it will be uh, mongodb is connected successfully oops it will be fully so let's save it and let's see nothing is happening so we need to do a little bit more or actually we can remove the export one because we're gonna actually try later on we need to first call that our mongo connect function so we call it now let's just check if the connection is coming or not if our mongodb database is giving it's a giving an error and of course the error should be validated because remember the password we created it will be test user 2023 so we need to make that password here otherwise it gonna send us that error so now let's try again as you see okay again the same error and it's giving that authentication fail let's dig into it and of course remember we put that as test user and we try with the text user so it's giving error again so let's save it again and i think this time our mongodb connection will be secure as you see mongodb is connected successfully and now even is connected successfully let's just create some data so we will create that user uh, schema with that so just to send some data a schema and it will be 
uh, I think among those dots we're gonna get it from the model you can create in separate file but I will just create here just to show that we can do it so the name it will be a string and then email it gonna be also a string and also we can pass another more thing that depends on you uh, I will just put that phone number or just phone it will be as uh, I believe it will be number so that is our schema so now with that schema we can send data to in, in our database so it will be const user and then it gonna make that new and it will be our user schema which we created so in the user schema we pass our name so let's just pass our name as my name oops and the name it will be inside this string so it will be nur muhammad and now also let's put that email and it will be gmail.com and also the phone number remember is just a number so we cannot keep that so just put any of the number we want so we have the schema and we have the user so now what we need to do we need to pass that user so what i'm gonna do user dot save and of course it can be saved or cannot be saved so we just need to go and affirmation that dot then after saving the user we're gonna just make that log to see that user oops it will be saved successfully and of course i need to remove that okay let's try it server is running and what else is happening mongodb is connected successfully and user saved successfully so now let's go back to our data set here we will just go to browse the collection okay keep it okay so in the collection if everything is right we're gonna find a folder named user remember in the user we're gonna have that as you see we got an id we got a name email and the phone number so that's way you can push your data to actually in your database and you can connect with that so that's enough for 10 minutes we'll see you in another video in the next